cancer, HIV, Lyme disease, and a host more of some of the deadly diseases in the world. The treatments are painful and have side effects. Can we approach this in a new way to not only support the recovery but potentially prevent and treat these? Well, with the discovery of thymosine alpha-1, many peptide researchers are thinking so. This powerful peptide is naturally produced by the thymus gland and plays a crucial role in supporting the immune system. Let's take a deep dive into thymosine alpha-1 while I'll be sharing all my research and discoveries on this peptide. So before I continue, a little disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. This information is purely educational. So any concerns you may have over medical or your health, please consult your doctor. Do not listen to this video. So what is thymosine alpha-1? So thymosine alpha-1 is a peptide that is naturally produced by your thymus gland. And this peptide plays a crucial role in the development of immune cells or T cells, which is critical for fighting off bacteria, fungi, viruses, and overall having a strong immune system. And this peptide is being heavily researched and actually given to patients with Lyme disease, cancer, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and a host of other autoimmune diseases. So how does thymosin alpha-1 work? Thymosin alpha-1 works by stimulating pathways in the immune system to help produce and mature T cells, dendritic cells, and natural killer cells. And all three of these cells are very important in the immune system to help fight off bacteria, fungi, and viruses in the body. Additionally, thymosin alpha-1 works both on your innate immunity, which is what you're born with, and your adaptive immunity, which is what happens when you go through life. So it works on both sides of your immune system to help strengthen it and return it back to homeostasis. So what are the research benefits of thymosin alpha-1? First, it helps fight off and eradicate bacteria, fungi, and viruses. It helps boost immune cells. It suppresses and prevents cancerous development or tumor growth. It accelerates wound healing. It fights off inflammation. It enhances your antibody response and helps balance out your Th1 and Th2 or your adaptive and innate immunity. So what are the research side effects? The most common research side effect is actually comes from the administration because with thymosin alpha-1, the most common way is to inject it a sub-Q. Those side effects tend to be pain from injecting and swelling, but all that can be greatly reduced with proper injecting techniques. Besides that, it seems to be a very well tolerated and safe peptide. So what is the research dosing and cycling? And this is coming from just studying the peptide community in my own experience, but it seems one to 1.5 milligrams every third day. And then when it comes to the cycling, two weeks or up to three months longer. It really depends on the subject's response. For example, if someone's experiencing a very strong illness and they start taking thymosin alpha-1 and after two weeks there's no improvement, then it may need a longer cycle. Vice versa, if someone has something wrong with them, they take thymosin alpha-1 and all of a sudden their body is back to homeostasis, then there's no need to take thymosin alpha-1. So it largely depends on the subject response and their current health condition. Because with all peptides, especially this peptide, the goal is to return back to balanced or homeostasis and then stop the treatment because your body won't need it. So summary, one to 1.5 milligrams every third day until the condition is resolved. So what are some noteworthy supplements I would add with thymosin alpha-1? First would be odorless garlic. Garlic is an amazing way to help boost the immune system. Second, vitamin C also very critical for your immune system. Next would be some kind of mushroom mix. I'm a big fan of therapeutic mushrooms. Mushrooms have a very powerful way to protect the immune system. And the last two would be NAD and glutathione, especially glutathione because it's an amazing way to help reduce oxidative stress. But both of them I think are very crucial, especially if someone's fighting a strong illness. So here are some other peptides I would take with thymosin alpha-1. First would be TB500 and BPC157. It's actually very common. I see all three of these peptides together together because they all have such a strong healing effect and together they have a synergistic effect. Next would be a peptide called Humanin, which actually kind of works more in your mitochondria, but it's also an amazing way to, just to help reduce oxidative damage and overall return the body back to homeostasis and it can be very powerful when it comes to healing, especially if someone is experiencing some damage from an autoimmune disorder. Next peptide would be ARA290, which this peptide is commonly researched for subjects with diabetes, 
But this peptide helps a lot when it comes to help grow back nerves, help reduce nerve pain, and overall is a really great chelene peptide. So depending on why someone is using thymosin alpha-1, ARA290 could be a great choice. The next would be KPV, which is an all around an amazing peptide for healing. And one thing why I love about KPV, it can be done intranasally, it can be done topically, it can be done injecting, it can be done orally. So it can just be an all around and another great supportive peptide to add to thymosin alpha-1. And the last one would be LL37, which is a very powerful immune peptide. And this peptide can literally poke holes in cell membranes and kill them, which can be really great at the same time, can be a little dangerous. But again, depending on why someone or the subject is using thymosin alpha-1, LL37 could be a very powerful peptide to pair up with thymosin alpha-1. Here are some lifestyle tools I would add to thymosin alpha-1. First would be meditation. Meditation is an amazing way to help enhance your immune system. Next would be functional nutrition, which I'm not gonna get into, but food is medicine. Next would be fasting. Fasting is an amazing way to cleanse out the body and to heal it, especially longer fasts. I'm a big fan of like one day up to five day fasting. Next would be infrared saunas an amazing way to detox the body and cleanse the body. Another would be lymphatic massages. I'm a big fan of that, especially if someone is going through a crazy illness. Lymphatic massages are very gentle and at the same time can be very healing and detoxing. And last would be acupuncture. Big, big fan of acupuncture, but all these different lifestyle tools with supplements, with peptides can pack a powerful punch. So what are the pros of Diamonds and Alpha One? The first pro is that it's an amazing immune peptide. It's actually my favorite immune peptide just because it's been well used, it's been well researched, it is very well tolerated among subjects and overall, many subjects benefit from this peptide. So what is the major con of thymus and alpha-1? The major con, from my experience, is that it just tends to be kind of expensive because a higher dose is needed and it may be a prolonged time. So compared just to other peptides or peptide cycling, it could be more expensive. So what is my overall opinion of thymus and alpha-1? I think it's an amazing immune peptide. It's actually the first peptide I would choose if I had any conditions related to my immune system going on. I like it a lot, how it's been well researched, it's well used, it comes from your thymus gland, it works both on your adaptive and innate immunity. It just all around, it's just, I think an amazing discovery. As of now, I don't really have anything bad to say on it. That may change in a year or two years, but Anyways, guys, that is my current research and thoughts on Thymus and Alpha One. If you want to master peptides and go deeper, I highly recommend checking out my book, Peptides Made Simple. It's on Amazon, put tons of work into it. So if you like what I do, want to support my channel, and want more information, please check out that book. But anyways, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day and stick around for future videos. And as well, if there's anything that you want me to cover, please comment down below and I'll do my best to make a video on. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.